What's up guys, Dragonmill here. Today I figured I wanted to do a my setup video. And I thought now when I feel like my setup is completed peripheral wise, why not make a part one? So yeah, I figured we're gonna get it started. So uh, let's go. This is my setup. I love every part of it, but there is always room for improvements. Questions has been raised and this is a perfect time to talk about it a little. I've been waiting to make a video like this for long, and finally I feel ready to make a part 1, so let's dive right into it. One of the newest additions to my setup is the Asus RRG Centurion. I've been waiting for this headset for almost a year, since I first ever tried it on during my stay with RRG in Taipei last year. And I'm really proud today. This is under NDA, and these are the brand new products. The sound, dude. So yeah, that is how it looked like the first time I tried these on. I was thrilled back then and super happy right now to finally have them in my possession. With Mayan inspired side plates, a nice golden strip and reflective cup plastic, the Centurion sure gives a premium impression. It also has a RGB illuminated logo on both sides. The microphone also has a nice touch to it design-wise, and it's also easy to hide if you're using another microphone. ROG logo and text on the top. And some ninja style ROG logo inside the ear cup, resulting in a really branded headset overall. And finally, a object I've asked for a long time now. A really cool looking headset stand. Represent, yo! But what really is powering the Centurion is found at the end of this braided cable. The plug and play audio station. With tons of different configurations and presets, a pretty neat thing used to enhance many things such as the 10 individual drivers inside the headset. The audio station has different modes, main, mic, side, rear, center, lightning, front, sub and spectrum. All these serves obviously different purposes and changes different things visually or audio wise. My keyboard is the ROG Claymore Core, a modular mechanical keyboard rocking MX Cherry red switches and has that amazing look. Sadly, I don't have the numpad to show you, but it's possible to simply attach an external numpad to the Claymore. Anyhow, I really like the simple design of it and the less is more impression. A RG logo at the bottom and Republic of Gamers text on the space key. The RGB is one of the best I've experienced and heard others say as well. It also comes with a detachable mini USB cable for easy getaways and smart transports, which gives a longer lifespan. Sweet. This is my second most recent addition to the setup. The one on the left, the Gladius 2. In comparison to its predecessor, the Gladius 1, there's a few changes. We're gonna go through some of them. Now, with a RGB lightning added, the Gladius 2 looks even more fierce. The mini USB cable lock is now more solid. The area around the sensor is also changed. I like it this way better. And obviously, a better sensor in general. An extra button on the left is new. But we still have the awesome Mayan inspired rubber on both sides to keep the most intense gaming sessions stable. Both Gladius Mices has great mouse wheels, but there's a slightly improved design on the Gladius 2. Being honestly my favorite gaming mouse so far, because it's so versatile, it's now even better than earlier. By the way, I forgot to show you. Here it is. This is the sheep one, it's so big. It's huge, man. My mouse pad is the ROG Sheath. Rocking its 90 centimeters, there's plenty of space for a keyboard and a mouse. Never hit the border again. A reliable mouse bungee which I use is the Scorpion from CM Storm. Is it a spider? Is it a plane? No. <laughs> it's, it's just my router. One of the world's most fastest gaming and streaming routers out there. It has 8 antennas, 4 to transmit, 4 to receive. A great tri-band router with 3 individual networks to connect to. 
a 2.4 GHz band and double 5 GHz bands. That's the RTAC 5300. My dream monitor for a long time has been the ROG Swift PG278Q, a extremely popular 144Hz gaming monitor. What I love with it is a few things. The sturdy stand is just outstanding and the illuminated ring that comes with it. The ROG carving in the bottom and it's also known for its thin bezel. Great for a multiple monitor setups. Navigating the settings is easy and picture is great. The resolution has a really great points per inch sweet spot. What can I say? It's just an amazing monitor in general. My secondary monitor is the MG278Q. This is a 144Hz monitor which sports 1ms response time, ASUS ultra low blue light mode, game visual and game plus etc. Just like the RG Swift. It has AMD free sync. I like it due to its design, the stand, ergonomics and that it's a 27 inch. My microphone is the Rode Podcaster USB. A superior microphone to be honest. There is also a neat stand which you can get in addition to the mic. I like it better than most mics and it always delivers true quality. Up to this point I've had my computer for about three and a half years. It's still going strong and it's the Asus ROG Titan CG8480. It's been serving me well without problems throughout the years. It has a cool glow in the bottom front and a overclocked button which enables it to go from 3.8 GHz to 4.2. The overall slick case hides the SD card slots and DVD writer behind this moving cover. Nice! And most probably as any other broadcaster or YouTuber, I use the Logitech C920. Easy the best webcam you can buy, even after many years, enough said. Right, I'll just go ahead and put this there. That's better. <laughs> Okay, so while I'm gone from home, I need a protector for this setup, so the hell be the RG robot, which I got as a gift when I was in Taipei last year. And we got this robot, look, look at this guy. Amazing. Look at this bad boy. Look at that. It's like the big ass ro uh, ro robot. Yeah, there, there we go. Yeah, he's a good dude. Wouldn't trade away for anything. Bye bye. So hopefully you liked my setup video. I put some time into making it, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.